see if you're still into pieces and, you know, doing duets, me and you doing a couple duets for fun, you know, eyeballs and stuff. Um, it's all right out here. I'm having fun, you know. It's, you know, I don't know. I have to tell you about it. It's pretty funny. But uh, I got some stuff to tell you. Anyways, dude, um, I'll talk to you um, when I get back and let's, finish the pieces thing and you know let's do some gigs man i'm ready to play i want to do a couple things with you you know we've never played on stage and before i die i'd like to do that Sometimes it's just hard. It's hard to get a lot of things across. There's things that, that go, they go maybe without enough teaching and honest hard work. And, it, and it's my fault that I haven't brought them up right. See, uh, I ran across this little tyke when he's about yay big. And uh, I had to hide him from mama. So I used to keep him stashed in the chicken coop. And the funny thing is, they took to him at first, but then they started pecking at him, and he got a lot of disfiguring scars on his face and stuff. So we don't like to show it off too much in public. Robot! Giant robot! And so the saga comes to an end. Giant Robot sacrificed himself to save the Earth from the terrible guillotine. But who knows? When Johnny desperately needs him again, perhaps like a miracle, he will come back out of the sky.
first survivor of a homicidal spree in our area. We don't know who's to, who's to blame. 
No, we don't. But, but since his parents died well, uh, we thought it'd be only right but to keep him alive and, you know, bring him up. And, and, uh, I mean, we didn't keep him alive. We found him, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. And he plays drums good. That's what you can say. It's making me itch. Really strange places. Now stop. I want to do a feasting song. Let's do the song about the old feast back, back home. mugs of fisted fruit punch. Seemed like you could never walk through a room without finding at least half a bag of Bixby bits laying around. And I remember the big, huge platters full of lubered franks tasting like somebody already chewed them for you. I liked them. And there was always Edna Simpson. She was always coming around with a big 400 degree boiling kettle of oil, six or seven inch strips of goat placenta. That was my favorite, Sid Crunch. Of course, there is always Willie. Willie didn't walk so well there at the end. I think it had something to do with being numb from the waist down. But then maybe that's just my guess. I remember faces, but we've been stopped. 
WD-40 in the lighter.
the Texas Chainsaw Massacre.